39 years of coaching experience, 27 in the NFL. The Broncos have found their new defensive coordinator in Ed Donatel. Hello from the Broncos Media Center. I'm Phil Milani alongside Matt Boyer and Steve Atwater. Steve, I know you're fired up today because you're very familiar with what Donatel can do. Oh, man, when they made the announcement that Ed Donatel was going to be the defense coordinator, I almost jumped out of my seat. I was <laughs> really, once they announced Big Fangio, thoughts started running through my mind. Well, wait a minute, is, can Ed Donatel possibly be back in the fold as well? So uh, just really a dream come true. Championships, great coaching, great defensive schemes. I'm, I'm looking forward to them getting to work. Uh, Donatel spent uh, years in Denver as a secondary coach, 95 to 99 with Steve here, and then also in 2009 and 2010. Matt, what do you think that this defense is going to look like? Because these two have been coaching together for a long time, Fangio and Donatel. You just mentioned it. I mean, four of the five seasons he was in Denver with Steve in the 90s. I mean, they were top ten in the secondary. So, I mean, he's, his credentials come before him. And I think with Fangio, especially if you look back in his years in San Francisco, the guy like Eric Reed, Carlos Rogers, they had some great years. And then last year against, or last year with Chicago, I should say, Eddie Jackson is a young guy that the Bears weren't really sure where he would go or where his his ceiling was for his potential, has played at a very high level. And Kyle Fuller, very inconsistent in his career, but has played very, very nicely under those two gentlemen. Kyle Fuller, a pro bowler this year, and then that Bears secondary led the NFL with 27 interceptions this season. Steve, what do you think this defense is going to look like? Very aggressive, I'm assuming. I would imagine an extremely aggressive. Uh, and we, we have a lot of talent on the defensive side of the ball already. I think uh, with Ed and Coach Fangio working with the guys, they're going to maximize the productivity on the field. Uh, you know, Ed is a guy who knows how to communicate well with the players, knows how to get the best out of them. And one of the things that Fangio mentioned that he wanted is guys who can teach, and Ed is a great teacher as well. One of the things that we keep going back to is these coaches that can develop young talent. Justin Simmons, Will Parks in the secondary, they're not rookies. However, still young, still learning, can learn a lot from Ed. Another guy, Isaac Yadam, a guy who showed some potential last year, a guy that can learn a lot from Ed. So I'm very interested to see where these young pieces fall in his plan. And Fangio said he will be calling the defensive plays. So, Steve, what kind of coach are they getting? What kind of coach is Donatel? What's he like in those meeting rooms? Well, I mean, he's a calm guy. He's not a guy that's going to be yelling and screaming, but he gets his point across. Again, mild-mannered guy, great teacher. He goes into depth in terms of, you know, what the office is trying to do and he makes sure that you're, you're thinking your uh, kind of your, your strategy going into the game is on point so everyone kind of feels comfortable uh, prior to the game. Well, he should have plenty of weapons for the Broncos' uh, defense on that side of the ball. Guys like Chris Harris Jr., Von Miller, see if he can take the Broncos' defense to that next level in 2019. Ed Donatel, the Broncos' new defensive coordinator. That's going to do it for us. For Steve Atwater and Matt Boyer, I'm Phil Milani.